another great event that I wanted to give as much time possible so we can talk about is the annual golf tournament. Last year, uh, we were right in the midst of COVID and uh, you were very successful in, host in hosting. Uh, it was the one golf tournament I went to last year uh, for, uh, for the Milton Chamber. And, and this year is no different. Uh, I know it was originally scheduled for early part of June, but that you know, conflicted with the, uh, the stay at home order. Uh, let's talk about this great tournament that we have planned for, for 2021 for the Milton Chamber. Sure. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I mean, last year, uh, we uh, we normally have our golf, golf tournament every year in June. So uh, last year, we had to delay it because of the pandemic, and we ran it in August. And and part of that was uh, trying to figure out with the health department how we could safely operate. And uh, and a lot of the, well, all of the uh, the protocols that we had in place last year are going to be the same protocols that we have this year. Uh, so as you say, we were supposed to be in June, uh, but it was too close to uh, to the what is hopefully the this the end of the stay at home. So we moved it to July 13th just to be safe. And it's a fun day, you know what? Uh, I mean, the golf tournament generally is uh, is great, but uh, but again, being outdoors and, uh, and exercising, um, seeing you know your colleagues at, from a, a safe distance. Um, it's uh, it's shaping up to be a great day. We're probably three quarters of the way to be sold out. So if anyone is interested, you better act fast. <laughs> Right after the taping, I'm going to be uh, buying my ticket. I know that for sure. Uh, again, every year is uh, fantastic. There's always treats uh, that that happen there. And I remember last year, one of the most popular uh, aspects of the golf tournament was the cannon, where uh, your sort of your childhood fantasies come true. Like, what if I can fire this golf ball through a cannon? And uh, and I forget what hole it was on, but it was really successful. Is the cannon returning to this year's golf tournament? I am happy to tell you that the cannon is coming back and, and we have one on each golf course. So we're at Granite Ridge golf course on both Cobalt and Ruby. And, uh, and so we have one cannon on, uh, on each golf course uh, brought to you again by Crozier engineering. So, uh, you know, Crozier likes to do it because, you know, you have to have a little bit of uh, engineering skills too to, to figure out that right angle to, uh, to fire your golf ball. It's not easy. I uh, I remember watching people try and, and the first thing you think of is, oh, this is easy. You just point and shoot and it, it, it's not the same. You still got to take into consideration all the, uh, it's, it's, and like I said, it's appropriate that Crozier Engineering was, is, is doing this because they, they, they know engineering uh, throughout down. So yeah, the, the, uh, the cannon is always a big uh, part of uh, the, the fun of the day. Uh, there's lots of prizes. We got some raffle prizes that are listed. I know on your newsletter some great prizes for for draws as well for people to purchase yeah so there's two aspects to it because uh, we have an early bird draw so as people uh, register for golf if uh, if they register soon enough then they can be in the draw for uh, for some prizing and then we also have a, a raffle and what we started to do last year is uh, we have a passport system so when people register for uh, for golf they're automatically getting a, uh, a passport which includes things like the air cannon uh, things like our golf darts, uh, the, uh, the raffle, which has some amazing prizes from uh, uh, some golf lessons with uh, some go local golf pros, uh, big screen TV, um, some Leafs jerseys. So yeah, they're in high demand, aren't they? <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry, folks. But uh, we also have, uh, we have the, uh, the bunker grenade. So if you land in a, one of the bunkers, you can automatically you know, throw your uh, golf ball out like it's a grenade. And uh, so that, all that's included with your passport. And then if people want to buy extra raffle tickets, they're, uh, they're welcome to do that. Uh, and all that's on the Chamber website. And Mike, you're talking about some great giveaways. We have a tradition every year too, where uh, we give every golfer a registration gift. So as they arrive for the day, they get something. And every year we try, the committee tries to come up with uh, some interesting ideas for uh, for the registration gift and uh, it's courtesy of our friends at Kojiko on your tv so uh, this year uh, we're giving away a golf shoe bag uh, a little uh, bag to carry your face mask so you can clip it to your golf golf bag first aid kit and some Kojiko golf tees so uh, some great things for people to get uh, as they arrive at Granite Ridge we always get fantastic uh, prizes and, and giveaways from uh, Kojiko 
uh, over the years. I still use the putter from a number of years back as well. And uh, I was just looking at and updating, making sure that it was uh, part of the passport program is the mulligans, which is my favorite thing because <laughs> it, it's been a little rusty this year. I haven't been able to get out uh, as, as often and, and, and not many people in Ontario until recently have been able to get out there. So I'm, I'm glad the mulligans are there. And uh, yeah, the I, I think a lot of people are uh, just happy that no one has been able to play a lot, a lot of golf because then, you know, everyone has an excuse for being bad. Well, the money that's raised uh, through the uh, for this chamber uh, golf tournament goes to um, specific, some specific idea, uh, sp specific programming. And I was wondering if you can highlight uh, uh, where the money that's uh, raised by the chamber goes to. Yeah, there's different part, parts to it, Mike. So for uh, for some of it, uh, just helps to uh, to operate the chamber because uh, membership dues in the chamber pays for about uh, probably a third of our operation. And then we have to do fundraising for the balance of our uh, our funds. But uh, with things like the uh, the farmers market uh, and our sports celebrity dinner that uh, that we do every year as well, uh, we raise money through those programs for our scholarship program. And uh, we're really pleased and proud to uh, to give a thousand dollars to uh, each of the Milton High Schools, uh, including EC Drury, and we also do a scholarship for the child of a chamber member and for somebody that's in a, an, a, an apprentice program. So, uh, so a lot of the fundraising that we're doing uh, through, uh, through chamber events are also helping with our scholarship program. 